What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Big Shot Show. In today's video, we are going to be covering something I've actually been wanting to talk about and cover for a little while here, um, which is mostly just the increase to remote raid passes and everything that is coming after that uh, for Pokemon Go. Um, so we'll check out some articles. We'll go over the stuff. We'll see see everything that's come from the increase in remote raid passes in the shop and uh i guess go from there and i'm just gonna you know share my opinion sneak peek it's not good <laughs> uh, but without further ado let's get cracking and check this out shall we <clears throat> all right so i wanted to like cover some somewhat good news first off i guess um and that is that like some pokemon go players are posting heartfelt goodbyes before deleting the game for good uh so Deleting the game for good is not good news, but but it's nice to see that the player base is uh, such a good community to be a part of still. Um, no matter what Niantic does to the game, the players still seem to be, for the most part, you know, genuine and kind in the simplest of, uh, you know, summarizations, basically. So, yeah, so we go down here and there's a lot of players are, you know... Um, you know messaging things so this is on the pokemon go reddit to so those permanently leaving the game by april 6th don't forget to thank the community so there's just a lot of people in this thread on reddit that were you know saying you know how much they enjoyed playing with everybody and um you know that they enjoyed the game while the time while the fun lasts kind of a thing other people have uh, gone so far as to post their pokemon go accounts on ebay Trying to sell them for a quick but if this is the route that you're going to try to go with i want you to be prepared for not receiving near as much money as you've invested into your game if you've paid money if you've played for free this whole time then hey you might be able to but also you wouldn't be as upset about the remote raid passes if you played for free anyways but there's people out here you know these are reasonable priced ones a dollar 22 for this account 30 dollars 90 cents for this account 205 that's pretty high but at the same time it's you know i guess reasonable i've seen so much some accounts as high as three thousand dollars uh that's a little bit much even though you may have invested that three thousand dollars your account probably isn't worth that three thousand dollars if that makes sense that being said i also don't see pokemon go accounts going very well considering the price increase for the remote raids um you know making it a little bit harder for for you to even have like a, uh, a, a an account that is actually worth getting kind of a thing because um you know you can't do remote raids cheaper still like you still have to do them at the current price of 195 coins so yeah it's just kind of a bummer all around and you know i i mean i would never recommend selling your pokemon go account i also don't think that i think that that's like it could be violating it tos of pokemon go not that many people would care because you know they're already like leaving the game for good but that account that you buy if you were to buy it might actually get banned as well for being sold if it was somehow tracked or whatever um just one of those things where it's like i'd rather just not mess with it and if i'm gonna delete the game i would delete the game if i don't want to delete the game like i'm not going to i'm not i'm not i'm personally not deleting the game so i don't have any reason to delete the game or try to sell my account basically but yeah, so multiple articles out here about this kind of stuff. And there's even a new article about the Pokemon Go player theory <laughs> suggesting that Niantic plotted out the entire remote raid pass backlash. This is <laughs> a theory that they increased the remote raid passes to 195 coins, knowing that that was going to piss off players no matter how much they increased it. And then they drop it down to 150. I haven't seen the 150 in the in-game shop. But there's rumors and whispers of it. Um, but that doesn't matter because people are still, you know, not joining the game. And many, many, many people are deleting the game. And, you know, they're not they're not going to be coming back for anything, probably. Or if they do, it'll only be when the remote raid passes actually get reduced back down to 100 coins. But finding that out when you're not actually in the game is really hard to do. So it's really hard to earn back those fans and those players because once you've lost their trust, it's hard to earn trust, you know, so it's hard to earn it back, especially after the way it's been for the last six years. Things have kind of like they kind of got they peaked 
it during the pandemic, to be honest, which, you know, was a terrible thing. But the game seemed to thrive the most during that. And now they're trying to revert back to 2016 ways. But there's not, you know, it's not the same kind of a game that it was in 2016. That is part of like evolution and change as time goes on. But like I said, so this is, you know, people, data miners have found that it's going to be supposedly 150, but it's already 195. So now it'll look like they reduced the price to appease fans and players. The problem is it's still 50 coins more than it was, you know, just a few weeks ago before the 6th of April. And uh, it's it's done plenty of times. It's just like, I mean, I'll, I'll use gas prices as another recent big one. Uh, gas prices almost got to $5 a gallon, at least where I'm at. And now they've been hanging out around $3.50. So everybody's much happier about that. But a year ago, it was $2.89 a gallon. So they've still gone up like almost a full dollar. But it looks better. But it looks better. Because it was up to almost $5 and then has come back down to $3.50, $3.60, somewhere in that range. So it looks like we're getting a better deal on the gas because we were spending $5 for a very long time. But even though we're not back to what the low prices were before, we feel, you know, uh, thankful that the prices have been reduced to what they are now, even though it's still not what it was a year ago. It's the same thing for the remote raid passes. They go to 195. We deal with that for a few weeks, some few months, whatever it is. And then they'll reduce it to 150 and you'll, they'll be like, here, you guys are welcome. You can have these cheaper remote raid passes, but they're not cheaper. They're still more expensive than they were when this whole thing of drama started. <laughs> that being said, with the new remote raids and raid pass costs and people trying to do in-person raids a lot more frequently, I was on Reddit and I saw 15 people present during the Reggie Alecki raid I did today. I sure love meeting up with my community after the remote raid changes. Uh, as you can see, this person is completely alone at the Reggie Lucky, but somehow there's still 15 people. Uh, I imagine it's because people like living in the area, surrounding area, were able to reach it from their from uh, from their homes or from shops and stuff. Kind of exactly like what I dealt with with Reggie Drago. Um, like I said, only my friend and I were the ones in the park during the Reggie Drago raid, but somehow we still had enough people to beat it, and then we went to other raids and nobody was there. Probably because they were playing stationary and were able to reach from wherever they were and they weren't going to go around town looking for the raids. But the Reggie Alecki one's kind of a bad example because those are in-person raids anyways. Uh, it's just a bummer because I would love to have gotten a Reggie Alecki. But again, I was working on that day. So I scrolled through here a little bit and I checked out a few other posts. As you see, this one's been removed. I wonder why. <laughs> but so... And there's people making fun like, should I purify this? 5,000 CP Niantic. Uh, do you want to purify Niantic? It will gain a significant amount of integrity and learn the exclusive uh, charge attack. Listen to feedback. Uh, so like I said, people doing posting like that. The new campfire thing rolled out a little while ago, which is kind of annoying because I didn't actually download the campfire app, but it's still in my game and it's taking up more screen space than I wanted, but whatever. So people get lured by flares and then get robbed. You were the real raid boss all along, it seems. So Niantic Campfire, the expectations, 20 people showing up. This is back in 2016 when this game became a phenomenon around and everybody was playing it. Everywhere you looked, you just see groups of people playing. That's not what it's like in 2023, though. Now you're going to these things where people are dropping these flares on gyms and whatnot in the campfire. And so you go and you get robbed by somebody saying, give me your phone or your wallet. Awesome. Love that. Thanks, Niantic. And then here's again. So we got the update that uh, with the remote raid passes increasing in price, that with the new season and upcoming seasons to come or and future of the Pokemon Go stuff, that remote raid passes will be rewards from research breakthroughs. And they did the whole, you know, remote raid passes. <laughs> So the research breakthrough achieved 2000 Stardust, 3000 XP and 20 Pokeballs for this person uh, on the 11th. So this was just a few days ago. And so that was a pooping lie. <laughs> um, basically, like, I mean, they, it, I, I don't know if this person's research breakthrough maybe started before the April 6th thing. Maybe not. I don't know. But it doesn't look like that person got a remote raid pass, obviously, from their research breakthrough. 
Uh, this one's a sad story because I can I can really relate to this one. But as rural husband wife duo, I think four star and five star raids are a thing of the past for us. Thanks Niantic for killing remote play. Uh, like I said, I personally uh, am affected by this, and I know I have a friend who uh, they cannot you know play at all because there's just no gyms, no no uh, no gyms or Pokestops within like a 30 minute drive of them. For me, I still am in town, but I'm very rural and I don't have anybody that's like constantly always playing with me kind of a thing. And so the remote raid passes were how I was getting a lot of the the legendary Pokemon and stuff and probably just will have to give up on that uh, from here on out until hopefully hopefully future changes it back to what it was, I guess. Uh, because it, the game started with the remote raid passes being 100, 100 Pokecoins. And it's only been as of late that they've decided to increase the price because uh, probably because they're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of profit from those raid passes, but also because people aren't playing it the way they want them to play it uh, versus people playing the way that they want to play, which I thought we were all about being inclusive here and letting people play and letting everyone enjoy the game. Why would you force people to play a game one specific way? Why not, you know, let people play however they want to play? That's just my take on it. And then this one uh, actually is the inclusive one. It's called Pokemon Go. Go outside and play. Uh, so Niantic increases the cost of remote raids by 95%, puts a daily limit on remote raids. I actually totally forgot and glossed over that. I didn't realize there was a limit on how many you could do. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I didn't realize that either. Uh, affecting all players, regardless of if they are free to play, light spenders, whales, rural, disabled, uh, fit, and everything in between. So it doesn't matter because these are still affecting every player out there, uh, whether you pay to play or not, basically. Some players, let's go on strike, quit the game, uninstall, etc. So Niantic can change their decision. Hashtag hear us Niantic. We've tried this before. It kind of worked once, but I, I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I feel like they just don't care, basically. Uh, respect, respectful players. I'll join you guys. I don't want to join, but good luck. I can't do this, but I'll do whatever, etc. Blah blah blah. I'll try to join. I'll try to support the cause, even though I still like to play the game. Um, that's basically like where I'm at, where uh, my playtime has gone down way, way, way down based on these uh, raid passes. Like I'm not even like hardly feeding my, you know, my buddy and walking with them as much anymore. And it's all mostly due to the raid passes. Like if I can't play the game I want the way I want to play it, I don't really have that much of an inclination to, you know. Oh, let me let me make sure. I've just kind of been becoming a way more passive player. So I'm kind of joining in on the, you know, like quitting, but I'm also passively playing at times here and there. Um, like letting my gotcha do the work for me, though. Like almost never throwing a ball myself anymore. And then after the respectful players, there's the other players. And um, so, so the thing is, uh, I'm sorry. Is this some kind of inclusive and respectful talk that I'm too inconsiderate to understand? And the reason they say that is because in a few of these, I don't know if you guys can read them. Uh, no, just walk to your raids instead of sitting on the couch. Lamal, raid passes are free. That's true for the for like the premium raid passes, but you only get like one a day or something still. Um, then there's another one. The entire boycott and movement is a bunch of entitled neckbeards crying about 95 cents. And that's like I said, why, why even have to say that? You don't. It's weird. Some people don't like the 95 cents. Some people, this person may very well be a whale, one of these whale players who doesn't have to worry about how much money they're spending on the game. Other people would like to enjoy the game without having to literally break the bank. Another one here. Sorry, but the game mechanics are not flawed. You just are personally not excelling at the mechanic of social interaction. No, I'm sorry. I don't excel at the mechanic of social interaction. I actually am a very, you know, not socially interactive person. I am very withdrawn out in public and whatnot. I know I'm I'm very talkative here, but outside of that, if I go out to public, I'm I mouse up. Uh, so yeah, I don't. And 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 the big one. I keep pointing this out. I keep coming across children playing this game. I'm not going to go up to a child and be like, "Hey, want to be my Pokemon girlfriend?" No, that is bad. I will go to jail. I will be in prison. I will not see the light of day for 20 to 25 plus years. All right. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. So can I please just play the game the way I want to play it, which is occasionally 
remote raiding from my couch yes i also do go out and try to do raids but nobody's ever there at the personal at the in-person raids so what am i supposed to do remote raid it <laughs> so we have another one here you're not a victim you're in the middle of nowhere uh, the game wasn't meant for you uh for f for fs for f sake uh i don't understand the entitlement of the player base what so the games, uh, so just because I'm rural and my other friend is, you know, living on a farm, literally, uh, we're not, the game's not meant for us. Uh, how is that inclusive? I don't understand. And then other people just go outside. Again, that is a fine, a fine for you. And But like, there are some people out there who have a hard time. Some people who may have like something like agoraphobia or, you know, maybe bedridden, wheelchair bound. They, they might have a harder time going outside than you. Not inclusive. Uh, and then the last one here is wah wah remote raids are more expensive wah wah legendaries are harder to get wah wah the pandemic bonuses aren't forever um that's fine again yeah i wasn't expecting them to i wasn't actually considering them pandemic bonuses again i thought this was just kind of a change the quality of life increases to the game i didn't think that this was gonna be i didn't think it was just because of the pandemic but again because of the pandemic this game thrived more than it had in the last like five years before the pandemic hit once the pandemic hit the game kind of blew up actually because of you know people not being able to go out and play but they could remote raid and still enjoy the game and uh you know have spawns and stuff around them it wasn't as big as it was in 2016 but it had kind of died down and that was another like reinvigoration of life towards the game basically here's Here's one for the upcoming Togetic Community Day. Purchase a ticket to immerse yourself in this Saturday's Community Day with a special research. And then we have old Steve Rogers. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> um, this person recommends giving us coins for walking, which I always think that the 50 coin limit is pretty dumb because I almost always have uh, all 17 or whatever, however many Pokemon I have in gyms, they almost all get kicked out in the same day every single time and I only get 50 coin maximum ever. Pokemon Go, Pogo since you uninstalled. So here's a picture. Uh, the the uh, Pokemon Go Team Rocket uh, balloon is on fire and the map is just on fire and it looks like a desolate wasteland uh, with that like um, kind of, you know, post-apocalyptic radiation look to it, basically. Um, so yeah, since you've uninstalled, if you have it, this is what the game looks like now in-game. And that's facts. Like, that's not even not even a question. Day five of protest. I'm the only person left. It's Mad Max out here searching for other survivors. <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. I, I mean, it's not awesome. It's not funny. It sucks, but it's it's a funny it's a funny quote, funny message right there. Here's a person who finally spent two dollars on a remote raid pass, and you know, did everything they could to try and get this Lugia, but this Lugia still ran away. So that's awesome because now you can spend two dollars and not catch the Pokemon that runs away. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this one, pretty good. This one's basically, yeah. Uh, for the long-term health of who or what? Is there any part in the player base that benefits from this somehow? No. Uh, because this is not, this is Niantic dropping the update for the Pokemon Go raid passes being uh, 195 a piece or 525 for three, um, which it used to be 250. Let's not forget that it was 250 for the longest time. And then for the long-term health of the game, so this is for disabled players, rural players, people who, you know, used to host raids and apps, whales, people who can't schedule their lives around Niantic o'clock. That one's a big one for me, especially like all the Sundays events and stuff like that. Um, rural players, small, small communities relying on the assistance of remoting, non-whales, free to players, free to play players, and people who don't have a community. See, I also don't have a community like we do over here on YouTube and, and from the streams and everything. We have a community. But at the same time, I don't, and we can't like do anything. Like we used to be able to remote raid because I we we have people from all around the world. We used to be able to remote raid together. That was kind of cool. Uh, now now there's like none of that because it's too expensive, basically. So yeah, this is for the long term health of the game, but it doesn't. It literally doesn't help anyone. It just hurts people, and it's not inclusive like they always claim like they want to be. And this is the last one I wanted to show, which is the Pokemon Go Live Player Count Monthly Table. So. January, February, March of 2023. As you can see, lots of this is actually gaining. February was the first time that it actually wasn't increasing by like 900 some thousand, if I recall. Um, 
but then or th that's what it was the max players daily that's where that's where february was the first drop in the max players daily but uh as you can see players were still all right in march and i mean it's still hanging around this five and a half million but now in the last 30 days lost three hundred and ninety nine thousand. so it went straight from green into the red not even a question um your daily your max daily players is still around the same as it's been for the last couple months but that's just part of the decline of the game you know you can only have max players hanging out here before you start losing players basically um so that's the last one on that so somebody had made a new post about this since scarlet and violet had came out um i couldn't find it so i found an old post that actually was the same thing and this is an idea for pokemon go to add the bots into pokemon go raids for like your you know your three and five star raids basically um just saying that automatically you always have three people even if you log in by yourself kind of a thing um basically you know in sword and shield and scarlet and violet and maybe some of the other ones you can go into these raids in the wild area by yourself but no matter what you always have a couple of people in that raid with you and because like right now like five star raids and four star raids are just impossible to do you definitely absolutely cannot do the elite raids by yourself so this would be a way of having a couple of teammates in there you know make them make them actually worthwhile because like the <laughs> scarlet and violet and short sword and shield bots do not help like at all but if you had a couple of bots in there maybe you could win a five star raid technically by yourself because of the bots that were in there to help you um possibly some of these elite raids because again like i don't know how the reggie like elite raid day went but the reggie drago elite day was uh pretty horrific basically other than just the hanging out with my friend that part was great but us trying to play the game did not go well so this is my positive note for this because if nothing else maybe we could get this so that in-person raids are actually worthwhile because nobody shows up to the in-person raids nowadays basically. but yeah so i just wanted to go over this real quick it's been out for about you know eight days now it's a little over a week i'm running behind on videos it's hard for me to get them out because my schedule has been so jam-packed lately but i definitely wanted to cover this i wanted to review it i i wanted to see what you guys think about the remote raid pass increase in price uh i personally am not a fan um because you know this is affecting my way of playing the game i've definitely pulled back on playing the game uh, I was wondering how you guys have done. Have you guys stopped? Have you deleted it? Have you uninstalled? Um, or are you still trying to play just like a lot more passively? Or are you still trying to grind your daily your daily grind on the Pokemon Go? Which again, like I said, Niantic, Niantic O'Clock is still so hard for everyone to like bend their will to basically. Um, again, I just wanted to kind of go over this and, you know, throw it out there because there are ways of improving it still. Even if we have to have these remote raid passes being expensive um you know if there was some way of having the like bots that help you win your raids or something there's got to be something we could do uh you know i mean on top of i guess uh, there's got to be a way that they can make the game worthwhile uh but don't definitely don't fall for the uh the 150 as a we're doing you a favor now kind of a thing because it was just 100 eight days ago it's 100 coins eight days ago so don't fall for that. But I hope you're still enjoying the game. If you are choosing to play and, ho and wanting to enjoy it, I hope you are still having a good time and enjoying the game. Uh, if you've un uninstalled and you're not playing it and you're just waiting for you know something to actually change to make it better, I totally understand. I support your decision. I, I still am playing, but like I said, I've reeled it back in. I'm going a lot less. I'm playing a lot more passively, but that's just my choice. That's how I'm making the game work for me because uh you know i'm not remote raiding at all anymore but i'm still i am happy about the pokemon i do have if that makes sense so i still like the idea of a chance of getting something shiny or four star maybe um but yeah definitely definitely understanding of the situation if you're not playing any longer uh sad to lose you but i hope you had a good time while you were playing and i hope that you find something else that brings you joy in life if that is the case uh so yeah, that, like I said, that's just my quick review of the remote raid passes, increase on price, and some possibilities for making the game actually better. A lot of negative stuff, I know. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm wanting Niantic to, you know, to the hear us that Niantic thing. I'm wanting Niantic to uh, listen to feedback. I'm hoping things can, you know, change and get better. I've seen a lot of players quit. Uh, a lot of YouTubers stop even. 
Um, but yeah, so with all that, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the remote raid pass situation. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this video and subscribe because uh, I like to make videos for people. <laughs> so without further ado, remember, no matter wherever you are, have a good day, good night, and a good morning. And as always, a good shower. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Outta!